Once upon a time, there were three little pigs who wanted to become rocket scientists and send their own satellites into outer space. The first pig, Mr. Thrifty, who lived in a straw house, decided to build his satellite out of thrifty parts from the big box store. The geeky salespersons cautioned him, these over-the-counter microchips really are designed for outer space. You know that, right? Mr. Thrifty, not wanting to look foolish, replied, <clears throat> Of course, we know that some might fail, but with our thrifty satellite plan, failure, well, that's an acceptable option. Ugh, the salespeople were only geeks and not really rocket scientists, but they still wondered aloud, how can failure be acceptable in any kind of a plan, let alone a million dollar satellite? The second little pig, Mr. Sturdy, who lived in a brick house, decided to build his satellite out of sturdy parts that had worked in space for decades. The custom-built microchips for his Volkswagen-sized satellite cost a small fortune, and he had to take out a second mortgage on his brick house. But at least they wouldn't fail, and his satellite would work in outer space. The third little pig, Mr. Sensible, who lived in a house made of woven sticks, decided to build his satellite using the new generation of microchips that wouldn't fail under the threats of solar and cosmic radiation. Plus, they were sensibly priced. It was kind of like buying an over-the-counter chip, but with a radiation-proof guarantee. Combining the concepts of thrifty yet sturdy, his entire satellite design was, well, quite sensible. After the three little pigs launched their rockets and satellites into space, they trundled off to bed. Mr. Thrifty tossed and turned, troubled by nightmares of a big bad radiation wolf chewing the guts out of his satellite. Mr. Sturdy didn't sleep at all, worried that he might lose his precious brick house if anything went wrong in outer space. Mr. Sensible slept sensibly sound. He dreamed of a future where all rocket scientist pigs were happy in their lives because they made sensible decisions, worthy of the sensibilities of real rocket scientists.